Hello, everybody. Hello, Jason Snell. Hello, Mike Hurley. It's Friday, not Monday. What's I know. Going on? I know. You're sitting there with some beautiful Max behind you. The old Eddie. Computers behind me. I got, I got cats. I don't let the cats mm -hmm. in for upgrade. I can see your cameras. Your your cameras following you around. As well. That's also true. We could re I could turn it off and we could recrop it so that I'm in one place, or you can have it like this where I'm. It's totally up to you. Turn it off. Oh, it looks like that. It's slightly different. It's Very. actually, I would say for this, that's a better view because it's more yeah. of your like, of, of your background. You can reframe it a little bit if you. Want, but I think that looks nicer, sure. to be honest. And this is with the the beta firmware? <coughs> yeah, I think, I noticed this time, I don't know if it was already there, but when center stage is off, it looks like it's processing the image a little bit less, like everything got a little more contrasty. So I think maybe it's even, like I wrote a thousand words at Macworld this week about how they ought to just give us webcam settings, but um, something. Oh, I didn't see that. I'll pick that up on Monday. I usually read all of your articles on Monday morning. I mean, we had that conversation on Monday. Yeah, no, but <laughs> so I want to sort of me mention it again that. because I, I I would assume that it would include a setting for my fixing my issue. You you are mentioned by name. Yes. Also, um, I mentioned velcroing a smart a, a Touch ID keyboard to the underside of my desk in my one password story yesterday, and have received multiple Twitter comments from people who did not know about this idea and are super into it. So <laughs> Maybe they'll be extra funny. into what we're going to do today. We'll find out how Maybe easy so. it is. Look at this thing. It's like it's a gel inside of here. Yeah. Which I at some point have to microwave mm -hmm. because this will release the adhesive. Oh, I see. It says, this product becomes hot and may cause bodily harm if misused. This is a gel. Don't put that in the microwave, though. <laughs> that I just have in front of my keyboard. So, yeah. <laughs> not an eye opener. Yeah, I was wearing, wearing a Dongo Town t-shirt today. It was specifically chosen. Great. I'm, I also, Jason... I'm wearing this... a new logo list, so it's not as exciting. Okay, look, I got this, the severance. The severance oh, mine keycaps. is back ordered. That so many people wanted the severance keycaps from Drop. That, that oh, did you get uh, the SA ones or the MT3 ones? I got the MT3 ones because that that matches oh. the the ones that I've got. I thought you bought mine, bought yours before me. I don't know. But oh, yeah, no, I don't think and then so. look, that's requested by chat. I put any key in here. No escape. It's no escape key. It's an any mm. key. I have an any key. On mine, that's the, uh, it's the, it's the backlight toggle. I really like that there's a key called any key. Like, it's a joke, mm -hmm. right? It is. Yeah. Press any key to continue. Yeah. And people would say, what's, the, what, I can't find the any key. So now they, they, they have an any, an any key. key. Not taking any chances today. Bringing out the old silicon map. Yeah, we're going to do some serious stuff here. Yep. Uh, thank you, Yabalrid, for the Prime sub. So, there's like, two reasons Jason's here today. One, I just thought it'd be fun to hang out, and plus this is a thing that we and him have spoken about a bunch. And two, well, there's three reasons. Two, for some moral support. Uh, and three, Jason's going to help me kind of, I think, distract some... Uh, sorry, I've just read a thing. Uh, to uh, understand some of the instructions. Uh, thank you, Distracted Loka, for the Prime sub as well. Have I, uh, have I frozen on the video there? Yeah, much? hold on. There we go. You should be good now. Discord's good. having, Discord's having a bit of a moment for me today. Yeah, it's doing it okay. again. Yeah. yeah, I noticed I'm bouncing around and stuff too, and it's weird because I've got all the bandwidth in the world. Yeah, I've noticed this recently, that Discord's calls, they seem to be struggling. Me and Austin have been having this problem. Um, but for some reason today, I'm just gonna try and re-grab this. Hold on. Uh, it's really, it's it's upset about having you move around today. Any reason you're using Discord for this instead of something like Zoom or um, 
some other VOIP Skype. This sounds it sounds silly when I say it now, but Discord's video quality does tend to be better. But right now they're letting me down. Gotcha. When, when it works on our live stream last week, we actually went back to Skype because Skype has NDI support, so I was able to just capture Dan directly without having to capture a screen. Hmm. I'm gonna look into that because, like, historically, Discord vastly superior for call for video clarity during the video calls, especially if you pay for their di for their Nitro thing, which I do. You get higher quality calls, um, and yeah, also I mean, you look your your view from here looks great. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's something going on weird on my internet, but I don't know. All right, so. I think I have all the tools that I'm going to need. So obviously I have the magic keyboard. I have this thing and I bought like a knife for my fix it. And I have the big kit. I had this anyway. Thank you for the bits, besotted Buddha. <laughs> I do not have sand, Felix. I'm, I'm hoping for no thermal events today. Um, I don't, I guess it does have a battery, right? So we'll see. Seems unlikely. But I'm hoping for no thumb. Oh, I don't need a knife. It's probably. I'm glad that you bought a new keyboard for this and are not sacrificing your existing. Oh, the I wasn't going to break the yellow one. I love the yellow one. Oh, there's a. This is funny because I've got a little tab here, right? And I'm like, oh, I'll pull the tab. But there's clear plastic over shrink everything. Wrapped. They got to get. They got to break their shrink wrap addiction. Yeah, I think on newer products, they've been... Well, but I guess all the new products I've had are big, right? So they wouldn't shrink opened, wrap those. I opened an Apple TV 4K and it was shrink wrapped, but inside the shrink wrap, everything was paper. Like yeah. everything. I was able to take the, the product out and then put literally everything else in the recycle bin. Oh, I got a new braided cable. Mm-hmm. Good for me. I like the braided cables. It's got that good smell. Let's see, should we see if I'm gonna avoid the warranty? Do you reckon there's like warranty information in here? I guarantee you're going to avoid the warrant. I warranty it. You <laughs> uh, It's all in, none of this is in English yet. German. Yes. While you're talking. I mean. Velcro here, just to bring out my. Oh, very nice. This lives under my desk. It is Velcroed so that the Touch ID button just uh, sticks right out. They do not oh, it print. Stick out. It's underneath, but they don't print the English version warranty in this paper. It just tells me where to go find it. But other hmm. la other languages, they have the warranty in here, but they don't have the English language warranty in there. Interesting. Who could know why? Signali, thank you for the Prime sub. Robert, thank you for the Tier 1 sub for six months in advance. Thank you, Robert. That's very kind of you. Oh, there's a prediction going on right now. For Will, the, will there be a battery thermal event? They're predicting in the Discord. Um, we're hoping not, because I'm not prepared for that. I do have a fire extinguisher, though, actually. So, Okay. I'm going to go get that. Just put it next to me. It's a pretty cool fire extinguisher. It's one that can be used on all types of fires. It is not, you know like how some, some are like fire agnostic? This one is. Some fire extinguishers don't believe in all kinds. This one. I think fires are a lie. You know how like you can't use like, you can't, you can't use water fire extinguishers on electricity, you know that kind of right. stuff? This one can be used on as it says here, all, all fires. It like gives out this like foam. Yeah. It and will it destroy whatever the fire is. everything on this desk if I have to, to, sure. to let this thing off. But I guess. But but think so would a fire. Very good point. And maybe actually, you pull, maybe you could pull the silicone mat onto the floor first, and then. Yeah. If the flames aren't licking too much at your hands. Good point. I could maybe like, and then just set the carpet on fire, but you know, at least the computer's saved. Hey Bump, thank you for the sub. Everyone's leaving Twitch and going to YouTube, Jason. Really? Yeah, this is a big thing right now. Twitch are like changing a lot of their rules. Like one of the things they've got that seems like they're gonna change is like they're gonna change the revenue split quite a lot. 
That, oh, stuff, that kind that. of stuff we doesn't need to bother make more me. Money, but... So we're just going to take more of your money. Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> Amazon needs to make more money, does it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, none of that stuff bothers me. Like, I just, I like Twitch for, for what it is, but um, it's like a lot of streamers are going to YouTube. All right. Yeah, let's I'm get this all my, So I'm cool again. That's great. Yep. Good you're, news, you're, I'm just you're staying on YouTube the this whole time because I don't want to learn all the Twitch stuff. All right. So we are using the tab down from iFixit to make this work. Now, the iFixit teardown is for the previous Magic Keyboard, but it should cover most of what I need. The actual part that we're trying to do, which is to extract this key and the board that is attached to it, I have no instructions for that. So, I don't right. know what this looks like when we get in here. And Well, you've got that you've got that guy's blog post. Does he Did he make a blog post? It? Didn't he? No, because I read it all on Twitter. So he posted it on Twitter, right. and then somebody asked, how did you do this? And he said, just follow this guide, and oh, it will wow. work. So okay. we're going to find out what happens when we get in there. So we, right. we're starting on step four, because the first three steps, it is nothing to it. So first off, we're going to try and get these. Let me see. Do I want to zoom the camera in a little bit? I think so. People want to see what I'm, what I'm doing here. First step is to remove. Justin, he's not going to sacrifice his yellow. No his way. Beautiful, beautiful yellow. No, I love that thing. It's not going to happen. Right. Okay, well, starting off by these things don't really come up very well. Oh. I, can, I fix it. I don't need this. Like, they said, like, oh, we tried to do this and it was no good. <laughs> like so like oh good place to start manufacturers That's often hide screw what? tweezing out a rubber foot reveals a slot that holds the foot in place almost a screw but not this is just some molded plastic well then don't do that yeah why is that in the instructions I know I don't I, they, you don't need to make the guides more entertaining just make them guides so where are we thanks to a complete lack of fastener seam it's time to open some eyes with an eye opener Oh, I open her time. So you gotta do some heat. Apply now I'm wondering, do I want to do that now? Or like, cause then I guess it just melts it enough. I'm gonna try, cause step five, I'm gonna say this guide isn't great so far yet. It's our review of, uh, the Magic Keyboard Repair, is that the one you're looking at? Yeah. The Magic Keyboard Teardown? Magic Keyboard Teardown. Once we get enough of the gap opened up. Is there a way for me to get this on the screen a little bit? I'm gonna try and add this. so people can see what I'm looking at a little bit at least. Higher lower panel is glued in place. So they heat it and pry it and heat it and pry it. There's a lot going on on the screen right now. The camera's upset and there's like, there you go. Yep. Didn't like that. Okay, so, whoops. Uh, thank you, Intron14, for the Prime sub. So am I starting off by like trying to just pry it open a little bit and then getting the, the glue thing? The gap between the plastic bottom and aluminum frame is too thin, so instead we put the Apple Watch opening tool to work. Once we get enough of a gap opened up, to sheath, we sheath our knife and switch to plastic opening picks. I think I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna try and start yeah, like prying open I, I, a little bit. I think the idea is you try to pry it open, and when it when it's too much, you um you can apply the heat yeah. to to make the glue more more liquid, and then you can peel until you can finally peel the whole lower panel away. I was gonna tell a story about um, that false start 
about the feet. Yeah. Which is when my my parents moved to Arizona and I was visiting for them the first time. Uh, my mother says, okay, you go down this highway and then you take this road and you eventually get in our neighborhood and then you're going to pass, you're going to pass this street. You know, you're going to pass Spirit Way. Oh, or no, no, uh, we, we're on Spirit Way. Make a left on Spirit Way. And I think, okay, great. Make a left. I make a left. I look at the next instruction and it says, now just note there are two Spirit Ways. Don't take the first left. What? What are you doing? No, well, it's the same thing, right? It's like a recipe that that lists a step and then says, but don't. But before you do that, it's like, don't, no, no, that's not how you do, give instructions. Mm. Say, now turn left, but be sure not to turn left at the first one. Well, I already turned left, so. Man, this is. I knew this was going to be the tough part. Yeah, I'm trying to practice now, good knife safety. I will say that I fix it. Oh, is Chaos giving... Tian is the per <laughs> This is the person who did it. Oh yeah. I need to heat up the bottom to make it easier to open. All right, cool. Do we have an actual person who's better than the iFixit guide? So oh how God. long? It's the inspiration for this video. Yep, Chaos. Thank you for being here. I appreciate oh you. How long do I need to heat this thing up for? It doesn't say. Well, I think its instructions say we tried heating it up for five minutes, but it exploded. So don't do that. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. All right. I only told the story, uh, Mickey, for, for, for your purposes, because Mike was busy trying to knife a keyboard. What I was going to say, too, is that it is a keyboard yeah, repair guide. So I suppose if it, if, if, if it, uh, if the, the bottom of the keyboard doesn't survive, it's the end of the world. It's in the microwave, and I'm standing back a little bit, because I don't. Yeah, you don't want to be microwaved. Yeah. Because I am I'm creating go... a thermal oh. event right now. I'm going to go make some tea. I'll be right back. Great. Emanescence. Thank you for the... I'm not putting the keyboard in the microwave. Don't worry. It's, a, it's not a keyboard in the microwave. It's a, I have a tool that's going in the microwave. Which will... Okay, so the microwave's done. So now I'm going to very carefully... Okay, so this is this is this thing. That's pretty warm. So I guess if I put it here, maybe it will uh, will loosen some of the glue. I did, <laughs> Mickey. I do have a, a microwave in the studio. That would have been pretty funny if I would have had to have bought a microwave for this. I'm already pretty in the hole on this project, by the way. I really hope this works. This costs me so much money. How does Nigella Lawson pronounce microwave? Microwave. No, she doesn't. No, come on. That's not true. I didn't test the keyboard first. No, we got, we're doing this one without testing. We're adding danger into it. Now, does it seem to suggest like how long Ninety seconds on an iPad. Possibly a screwdriver would have done better. I was I'm kinda just going my plan was to just go with whatever the guide was suggesting, although I'm not actually super cool on the guide right now, so Okay, so the battery seems to be up here, so I'm just not gonna mess around with this section.
It's pretty warm. It's not super warm. Like, if I leave my finger on this, like, it gets hot, but, like, I guess this thing probably stays hot for a while. Kenneth Fallon, thank you for the prime sub. Oh, look at Ian coming in with the facts. The thermal mass of the eye opener, which is this, allows the heat to actually permeate the plastic and get to the adhesive. Blow dryers and hot air guns are better for heating surfaces of things. Ian, you're so smart. Justin, I like your thinking. Look, I'm gonna... There it goes. The knife has been sheathed. I've sheathed the knife. So apparently this has to sit here for like 90 seconds or something, Jason. Oh, good. Well, I this is why I chose to make tea. Is yeah. It felt like with the microwave and all that, it was gonna... The water's bo about to boil. And Ian dropped some knowledge, which is like this oh, yeah. thing has a higher thermal mass, which is why it can get to the adhesive, rather than using something like a hairdryer, which would just heat the surface of it. Right. A warm, like a warm uh, washcloth or something. I, I guess. Sign up, Sep. Thank you for the prime sub. They did. If you don't have a microwave, I was looking at instructions. They recommend dipping it in some boiling water, which just seems yeah, way yeah. more complicated <laughs> as a thing to do. You know. Yeah. If you're if you're a technological person who's opening a piece of electronics, but you don't have a microwave. Yeah. Summer. Take it outside in the sun and dance for the sun gods. All right. I'm gonna gonna put this here let's try again now oh it's got little handily things to keep you yeah so you, that's so then it's not incredibly hot BRB. okay oh man this is this is trickier than i was expecting oh there it goes i'm in interest of not stretching this out, I did not use the robotic features of my tea make that I'm steeping tea in a in oh. a gigantic mug. I've got some purchase, Jason. All right. Oh yeah, you're 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 laying in your uh, guitar picks now. Yeah. Just like a good apple focus. They're your soldiers. That's right. Nerd. I've got my, my picks. Yeah, Ian, I realized, sorry, I was not cutting away from myself. <laughs> it's diff this is difficult. This is really difficult. That would lead to a great moment where it says, sir, how did you cut yourself? And you'd say, well, I can pull up the uh, video. <laughs> I, have a, I have a, somebody clipped it on Twitch, if you'd like to see. I have an overhead view. <laughs> the exact moment in which the knife. And you can see my reaction in the picture in picture. <laughs> Man, they did not make this thing. Hey, look, here's the thing about knife safety, right? Knife safety is really important. I agree. Usually people no are not watching you well. when you're when you're using knives. Okay. Like this is the issue of like ever my knife safety is is in front of everybody, you know? I'm so glad that there wasn't a but at the end of that sentence. You know, knife safety is important. But. But. It's just for nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid of pain. Pain can't hurt you. You know what hurts you? Knives. I'm going to say this eye opener thing, it made a massive difference. Uh-huh. So. Oh, there you go. I fix it. Pew, pew, pew. They fixed unsponsored endorsement. They fixed me from their initial bad instructions by providing good instructions and good tools. Oh, Did I ever tell you about the go. time that we made a, we made somebody incredibly mad by working with iFixit? <laughs> no. The uh, CEO of Otherworld Computing was furious that we did a Macworld article at one point where we worked with iFixit on taking apart, on like basically it was like a Mac mini teardown or something. Uh -huh. um, That's kind of funny. It's just like, now I just have a bunch of these things stuck inside yeah, the keyboard. Picks. <laughs> Solved. We did it. Everybody. We did it. <laughs> did it. Nailed it, everyone. It's done. No, it's coming. It's coming. 
anyway they were they were furious because they also sell like repair stuff and they're like they're a competitor and we're like but they also write lots of articles and are experts in this like we we could do that why too. were you we said, well, were they were you like did you have like a sponsorship relationship with OWC at the time yeah I mean or they bought ads in the in the magazine yeah so they they they, they felt like why wasn't it this us uh, it do was, OWC was, you know, do that kind of stuff I still I still use their products and buy from them and endorse no, them. No, I, mean, I that, use but, OWC, but like, did they but make they, they repair were tools? A, they were always a cranky, uh, cranky vendor because their management felt like that since they advertised in the magazine, um, they deserved stuff right. from editorial. Oh, okay. And our opinion was that they didn't because yeah. it doesn't matter if you're an advertiser or not. But I still use I still link to their stuff and I still buy their stuff. So that. Uh, there's another vendor that w that felt that they deserved that kind of treatment that I I will never buy their stuff ever. Right. But uh, OWC I still do. This is coming away, by the way. They do good. Good. It's My not... raid is an OWC. I use some of this stuff. My only issue with OWC is how many press releases they send, and for some reason, why am I on that list? I never uh. wanted to be on it. Uh, and they I'm adding now for for the lots. record, I'm adding the honey to the tea now. The tea has finished steeping. Excellent. If, if I had my own little powerful live streaming engine, I would. Sorry, everyone. The knife has been that. sheathed again. The knife has been sheathed. I have sheathed Good. the knife. Knife safety. Uh, the honey bottle has been closed. Honey safety is important. <laughs> I don't want honey all over my Keychron keyboard that you made for me, which is right here and it's beautiful. I don't know if we ever did that final follow-up but um it's great it still does make that, those chirps where um where the bottom of the key just yep. raises sometimes the edge of the metal case so i should probably sand those keys that's right? what most people do now you know i, I was and it, you may have seen this in a tweet the other day i was replying to someone they've made some changes to the q1 to address basically all of the problems that we have had with the q1 um, right. yeah somebody was asking about the q4 or something yeah and yeah. So the Keycon learned a lot and they did it they've done I think a pretty good job of addressing a lot of the typical issues. All right, I think I That's need good. to put more heat on this cuz it's not. The chirps are pretty rare and it's when I hit hit a key not quite square and it's usually a weird key like the any key. Yeah. Um so it's not that big a deal if it, and if it really was bugging me I would probably sand those keys a little bit. So like this keyboard that I've got here it's kind of similar, right? In you know, like how the metal goes around the keys, like really close. Yeah. But oh, yeah. You, you can see much, they've, very similar. you know, it was designed for tolerances here. Like, I never have those issues. Oh, yeah, because you've got a little more spacing. Yep. A little more honey. That's... How long, how long does that go before you're going to need to, like, re-microwave it? I don't know, actually. Let me see if it says in the thing. I mean, your hands are right on it, so how hot can it's, it be? It was never really that hot. Oh, interesting. It's just permeating with the radiating out. It's that consistent, like if that makes That's sense. Nice. You know. So you know, use it for your aching back, I guess. Uh. <laughs> maybe <laughs> they probably maybe. make those people somebody probably makes a microwavable gel thing that you strap oh. around yourself oh yeah we have one at home but it's got oh. these little beads in it instead instead but uh. they did just say in the guide oh. like at a certain point you just have to start forcing it. it up yeah well, in any place you see a lot of resistance, that's where you apply some more heat and then you peel it a little yeah. more and you gradually peel it off. So there's a thing that I haven't worked out. So you see how this has kind of come away here. There's like a plastic yeah. ridge here and I assume I've got to go underneath that. But actually, I'm going to yeah. move away from that area because that's where the battery is. And I don't want to mess want a around. Thermal event. Don't want to mess around with the battery. Thank you very much. But it seems, yeah, on the sides, there's kind of like a black plastic. I wonder what that is. Let me see if I can find that in the. Got some tea questions. Do I microwave cold tea? Yeah. I mean, if there's still tea around and it's ready to drink, I will microwave it. I don't. If it's like co totally cold, you know, at some point it becomes iced tea time. It leaves being hot tea time, and then it becomes. If I've got a lot of tea left, I will sometimes for lunch have put ice. Yeah, there's a black ridge thing, so I gotta. Okay, so so chaos is in the chat being helpful. I nearly lost a pick here inside. 
Uh, is that one black the ridge thing? If so, you need to apply more heat to detach the two. All right, cool. So more heat in that area. Yeah, okay, I see that thing inside here. All right, Mr. more Salter. heat. I'm gonna go put it back in the microwave. Uh, okay, I'm gonna answer tea questions in the meantime. But Mr. Salta, uh, uh, not matcha, I just do black tea. Um, and Ryan Mukau. Not, not matcha matcha, right? Not much, uh, much. Uh, I'm not much, a much a guy. <laughs> uh, Ryan Mukau, I uh, yeah, I still use New Mexico Tea Company. They're a sponsor of some of my podcasts, um, but I also just spend my money on tea from, uh, and yeah, I've been, I, I buy it in bulk. <laughs> Thank you for the Sir Sir Yank. Thank you for the compliment. My haircut. I'm having a bad hair day today, today though, so I appreciate that specifically. Microwave beep. Ah, okay. Oh no. No, it's okay. It's okay. Because it's kind of, it's like a gel thing. When I pulled out of the microwave, it pulled the microwave plate with it. Oh yeah. Because it's like not sticky, but like, you know. So yeah, I guess this is yep. a good question. Why am I doing this? Um, as Janik in the chat oh, is asking. So the plan is to remove the touch ID button and the board and the lightning quarks. It's all on one board apparently from this keyboard with the plan is I want to try and see if I can put it in one of my nice keyboards. That's right. So that's Chaos Tian wrote this thing about how he, um, he, I, they, they. Uh, yep. took this button, uh, basically took it apart and took the button off mm -hmm. and was able to create like a little kind of thing that had had the the board and the button and the I think the lightning port and it was just this little tiny thing that all it did was touch ID and Mike and I and maybe perhaps some of you out there have done the thing where we want touch ID on our desktop Mac so we've we've attached one of these keyboards under our desks which is silly wouldn't it be nice if one Apple yeah. made a, a little touch ID button that you could just attach and two, uh, Mike has the great idea of integrating it, sneaking it in. Some of those keyboards don't really have a lot of space, but what if you could sneak it into mm -hmm. a, an existing And if that keyboard? doesn't work, I'm going to work with some enterprising listener of some description, I'm sure, who will be able to the help 3D me 3D print, 3D print a little case for it. to put it in. I'm getting a, a, si a slight smell coming from the keyboard right now, which I'm, <laughs> 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 I'm hoping is the, uh, the glue. Yeah. Softening up. Yep. Something's happening in there. So let me see if that's doing, don't do it. Oh, it's warm now. Huh. It's definitely not. have changed yeah but you placed kind of higher on the yeah yeah so chaos is saying i can probably just give it a go now to try and get it up do i have a tool that i think can help me get some leverage So what I'm trying to work out is like the thing that I'm not nervous about, like I'm unsure about is this like this, this black plastic part here. 
Where like, I can't work out if it's anything important. Like, should I be trying to get under that or I don't know. Chaos is saying, you know, it is just a plastic cover and the pictures say that. So what you really just need to do is peel it off. But yeah. the challenge is just going to be if the glue is too sticky, you need a little more heat to peel it off. I wonder if you should go from one of the ends. Yeah. There's still oh, quite a lot. From one of the ends. Uh, yeah, the, 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 where I'm, the, en the edges are coming up fine now. It's when it kind of gets to like this area is where it's right. starting to bend. Right. So that's probably the area that needs more. Funny comment about that. Everyone stop giving Mike any advice. Chaos, please keep giving us advice. Chaos please give is us. the person who did this. Yeah, oh I advice and help I need. And yes, that's why I'm we, doing we, that's why I'm doing it live on Twitch, right? If I if I just want to do it on my own, oh, I would have done it by now. I've had this stuff for like three weeks. <laughs> I can't do this on my own. Help me, internet. There's an obscene amount of glue. Like, I can see it. It's like some of it in here. Like, they really just do, like, they just glue the whole thing. <laughs> it's almost like they don't want you to open it. I know, right? <laughs> Almost like what we're doing is against nature. Woo! Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but. Something gave way there. Mm hmm. Waiting for the moment where you just hulk out and go, rah! <laughs> Keys fly everywhere. I wish I wouldn't have read about the thermal events thing before I did this, you know? Mm hmm. The battery in there has got to be incredibly small. It is, it is. It's just up the, it's just in the top area. It's like here. Mm -hmm. For those who are asking, we're not in the know. A thermal event is basically when you do something to a battery, usually a puncture it or something bad. It basically doesn't generally happen. I did have that happen with a uh, MacBook Air. It had a, the swollen battery thing, and we had to like put it outside. <laughs> oh, really? And, and then I unscrewed it, and I took the battery out and left it outside on concrete just to be like, please don't explode. I'm looking for something. Oh, I guess I could use one of the pry tools. I keep wanting to help, and I can't reach through the screen and help you. How would you help me? I don't know. Okay. I just keep wanting to help. You got the iFixit toolkit. I've got yeah. one of those. I guess I could do this to my own keyboard, but I... <laughs> Thank you, Garrett, for the Prime sub. As a sacrificial. This is helping. <laughs> this thing. I'm losing all the guitar picks now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is turning into like an old lady who swallowed the fly type situation. Uh, you know, I like the idea that eventually what makes the bottom come away from the the rest of the keyboard is that it's just all guitar picks in there. <laughs>
If you can get enough guitar picks in there, then there's no more contact with the glue, and it'll just pop right off. There's more guitar picks needed than I own. Yeah, the keyboard is a sunk cost. This keyboard was always going to be destroyed. There was no... Yeah, sacrificial keyboard. Yeah. So thanks for all the subs. Oh! It's all okay. It's just clicking. Mike has sliced off a finger. No. There's no knife. Ugh. You might want to heat it up a little again. Yeah. But I've popped out this part. Good, good, good. Feels important. <laughs> Ash and Seth, if it doesn't work, just bring it into the Apple Store with a straight face. <laughs> the black part should be staying with the frame. Whoops. It is not doing that, and it is not detaching from the case. Okay, I kind of see how it could. So, I might be doing bad things here. All right. Those pops might not have been good pops. They were great pops. I'm trying to now heat up the side where I can get into the black part and see if I can get in between it. And then stick a pick in there. The yeah, apple just make a, make a touch ID thing. Yeah, and then I don't have to do all of this, you know? A wired touch ID. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, it's, it's possible that I will destroy this. Like, I knew this going in, you know? It's hashtag content. Yeah. <laughs> now, putting the Touch ID on an iMac is a terrible idea. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't want to reach around and grab it every time. No, having it, having it under the desk, which I don't know, if, I don't know if I would have gotten there uh, without your inspiration. Yeah. Maybe, but like, it's great. It's fun, right? Having it right, you know, in the vicinity of where my hands are, anyway, is the right, the right thing to do, as opposed to reaching it. Uh, who knows, Bob, when they start selling the Mac stuff, maybe you will be able to buy one, like the Touch ID sensor. That'd be hilarious, right? If in two weeks, they just put this part on their self-service repair store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Monster 459 says, is that the Jason Snell? Yep, that's me, the one and only. Unless you're the bluegrass only. musician from the Midwest or the famous Australian rules football player who's now a coach or the guy who died on a bicycle in Hawaii that I got on his obituaries in my Google search. I was like, oh no. We oh, lost yeah. him. Uh, West who but checked. Other than those the guys, sure. Though. Me. I'm going to say so far, this part is taking way longer than I thought it was going to. Uh-huh. Because the iFixit guide makes it seem pretty simple. Like, hey, just heat it up and uh, you're off to the races. 
We're not off to the races. I would imagine that if you... Maybe there's a way to heat it up better than what I've done, you know? Yeah, they they say arduous for repair. I mean, they're, they're being funny here and saying, you know, heat and pry and repeat parfait, delicious, but arduous for repair. But what, you know, the, that's cute. But the truth is probably if you do this all the time, you're aware of the, the ebb and flow of this thing, but it's actually arduous is the key word there. Yeah. Just put the keyboard in the microwave. Yeah. Earlier, I was told not to do that. <laughs> what could go wrong? Hilariously, I think this is the most viewers I've ever had for a, uh, one of my Twitch streams, one of my keyboard oh, Twitch no. streams. I think people, are, people are cho they woke up and chose violence on this one, you know? They want to mm -hmm. see something happen. And hey, it might happen, you know? Like me, completely destroyed. It's okay. It's 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 for those who are just joining us. It was made to be sacrificed, purchased yep. specifically for this. Mike doesn't want to lose his precious yellow one. Nope. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. <gasps> oh, I heard peeling. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Sia wants the pops. We should never have had the pops. The pops were a bad thing. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the pops, the horrible pops. Uh, at least one of the pops helped get the frame out, which I don't think was wanted, but it did it anyway. Here she comes. Snap, crackle, pop. Look at that. That's coming apart. Oh yeah. That's coming apart now. We are off to the races. I think I'm gonna need to get another one of these. I will say I fix it. They do make some great stuff. Like this is so ridiculous, all of this stuff that they make, right? But someone's got to do it and I'm happy that they do it. I also can't believe that I have become the person who owns all the iFixit tools. I never imagined that for me. That was always a Steven thing, you know? Like, right. Um, I'm actually kind of happy. I, I, this is this is one of the this is one of my things that like the pandemic did to me, like gave me the want to do things like this. It's like one of the good things that I'm, I'm taking away from that experience, of, like just wanting to try new stuff or whatever. Well, you're soldering now too, and you know yeah. that for me, that's the. Uh... That's the final frontier. Yeah, I don't. It's the soldering is what anything. is what made me comfortable to do all of this kind of stuff. Because for me, similarly, it was like at that point, like it seems like such yeah. a big thing. This is all good practice for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> it like secretly I have six of these. <laughs> Just like <Yeah>. there. <laughs> Another soldier. I can see what I was supposed to have done now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's always a great statement. Now I understand. It's happening now, look. You see? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. I, I can actually hear, like, the good peeling yeah. sounds. So I would like to make a recommendation to iFixit that they, they add these to the guide. This made all the difference. Are we still on the return window? Again, yes. Guys... I don't know what happened to this keyboard. It doesn't work. Ship me this refurbished keyboard and the whole bottom is off of it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> they might believe that. 
Apple ships a lot. Turns out Apple ships a lot of refurbished things. Ooh, that are Jason, I see the battery. That's the that's the battery. Look, mm -hmm. you can see the warning sign. Don't look directly at it. <laughs> Don't make it angry. As I said, Thermal Event is a great band name. Do not taunt. Did I buy Apple Care on this? No, no, I did not. My relationship with Apple Care is complicated. Well, now you can also see where maybe adding a little more heat. A little more. Yeah. Purchase on that. Mm hmm. <laughs> Robo says, This is my revenge on Apple Care. Yeah, I just send them this afterward. You fix it. <laughs> That's interesting. It says this tool is designed to break before your device does. And I don't know if that's saying what they want it to say. Like, I would definitely break this keyboard before I would break this. Right? Like, this is a solid piece of plastic. BKX3, the eye opener is thermal gel, so you microwave, and then it radiates heat for quite a while. The most glue is in this area. Of course. How'd you like to be an Apple technician? Well, I mean, I was going to say to repair one of these, and the answer is no, they, they throw don't. it away. And yeah, <laughs> these, are, these are unrepairable. Like, you could... Yeah. There's no way to do this without breaking. You can some. see why iFixit makes a big deal about yeah. glued components, right? Like yeah. you're, you're basically saying that it's disposable. This is stupid. There's no need to do this. They could have just put screws underneath this and it would be fine. Like I don't, I cannot understand why they have chosen to just glue this entire thing. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, one of the one of the spudges is one of the picks is really, is really going for a walk now. I forgot it was in there. Okay. Hey DMC, thanks for the sub. And now it's this is now stuck to the glue. Like I said, eventually it'll just all be picks in it. Be fine. Oh, look at that look. Yeah. Real transcontinental railroad thing happening here. <laughs> <laughs> Two spudges traveling. <laughs> yeah, it's the golden spudger is going to be brought in to join the two sides. At what time will the thermal event happen? <laughs> Take our poll. Here it comes. Oh, now there's a bunch of glue in the middle. Oh, my thumbs are hurting <laughs> from the like all the pressure. Uh huh. But here I am excited for the Miami Grand Prix this weekend. Formula One is in uh, it's in your country this weekend, Jason. Don't I know it? No, I didn't know it. <laughs> you could have known it. They're doing a lot of press for it, like on all the late night shows and stuff. Nope. Completely unaware. Ashen, thank you for the gift. It's a little NBA playoffs. Uh, so. That's about it. Uh, okay. God, there's so much in Although the middle. The one auto race that I ever that I watch every year is coming up. What is it? Indianapolis 500. Ah. So it's more traditional than anything else. Yeah. It was, was, yeah. It was more than it is now, but that's like America's great father. What do you mean? Like it was more well, of a deal? I mean, it used, to, it used to be a bigger deal. Yeah. It used to capture more of the American public consciousness than I think it does now. Indy cars sort of faded away largely, but. Formula One is honestly taking its place, I think. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, NASCAR. Look at this, Jason. The rise of NASCAR, NASCAR Jason. completely crowded IndyCar out from Look the what's American happening here. Desk. I'm Get getting out. in it. Yeah. Now's your time to hulk out. Ah, there we go. It's off. I love that the, these are stuck. They're just stuck on now. <laughs> no. that... Look, just, all right. Look at how much glue is on this. If you're gonna glue it, if you have to glue it, you could have glued just a couple of points, right? Like, this is obscene. But we are left with this. Mm -hmm. And there are some screws here. Now, interestingly, this is not in the iFixit guide. This doesn't exist in the guide. So this is obviously something they added. For these models. Yeah. And to carefully so the detach the battery first is what I'm told easy, to do. Easy, no solder, easy to disconnect. How? Let me go back to the guide. Uh, it's got a little thing to the right that you pop off. That's a connector to the logic board, looks like. Yep. Uh. How do you remove the battery? Justin says easy, just put the knife into it and lift it out. I was thinking <laughs> car I was thinking cut it into sections and then pull the sections out. Right. That's the way to do it. Okay. I have unplugged the connector. I'm gonna remove the little adhesive thing from the connector so it'll come out more easily. So the connector is unplugged and now oh god. Is it glued in? Uh, maybe. I'm, I'm being very ginger with it at the moment. Um, yeah. I've removed the back plate now. Okay, I've been told to leave it. Why was I... Oh, I was disconnecting the battery, so I understand why. So it's off. Yeah. Now I get it. I was thrown off there. So everybody, it's okay. Now I get to look through the just obscene amount of bits that the thing is, because this isn't in the guide, so I'm gonna have to work this one out. Right, right, they added that back plate. Yeah. Uh, They're tired plus... of bend gate, I guess. Didn't want another bend gate. It's plastic. Mm -hmm. Adding some rigidity, right? It is really fun, and, and I don't mean this in a bad way, you know, when people freak out, and <laughs> I really enjoy it when when everyone goes like, STOP DOING IT! <laughs> oh, that, that, that pop, that crack thing, that, that pop earlier, that was one of the screws popping out, and look, ah. there's the screw. Hmm. On the glue. Nice. Screw on the glue. Mole in the hole. Bullware says, do you have the robot that I made you? I guess I'm gonna need more specificity. Bullware, were you the one who sent me the 3D printed incomparable robot? Yeah. Where it says yes. That's cool. Well, where the, the 3D printed incomparable robot symbol is literally on the outside of my garage uh, door, marking the entrance to my domain. So yeah, that's cool. I still have it. That's cool. It's it's on the door. Incomparable Studios. So thank you. Awesome. Somebody sent me a Zeppelin too. I have a. The Zeppelin that they found in like a thrift store and they just sent it to me and I'm like, it is kind of cool.
Do we think Apple Park has a panic room? I think Apple Park is a panic room. Yeah, I bet they got a lot of stuff going on in there. The things slide down, and there's secret entrances to the tunnels where they, where Johnny Sruji works. Coasters, coasters are. I have removed somewhere. the battery. All right. Okay, so here it is. Look, this <laughs> and that's all the all of it left. Interesting. All right, so I need to take a look at this now because this isn't exactly what I was expecting. So this is the board, and mm -hmm. this is where the button is. Mm -hmm. But this is interesting to me. I guess the thing I hadn't considered when thinking about putting this into another keyboard, right, is it actually does need to be connected via Touch ID. That would be the problem. The keyboard that I would want to use would need to have two slots in it. Well, yeah, you you would need... Uh, so if you wanted to put it in a keyboard, you would need the mother the, the motherboard for the, the, you know, the circuit board for the mm -hmm. key and the one key and the lightning connector for power. Yeah. Which is probably too big to fit inside... I am very confident I could fit this into a keyboard. The problem is I wouldn't be able to get the the cable. The lightning connector? Yeah. Without dr digging around it. Yeah. But that's not the important part of today anyway. So I'm assuming now I can just try and carefully remove all of this. This looks like there's a little... That will just pop up. Yeah, I think the issue is just to maintain the the connection to the Touch ID key. Mm -hmm. Which is this. Which and it is looks what like chaos it connects here. Did. So I probably can remove this one. I reckon this is what connects the rest of the keyboard. Chaos says there's a flex cable. There's a flex cable you can detach. I think it's this one. I can disconnect all three connectors. That's probably a good idea, right? And then I can just deal with it later on. Mm -hmm. Great. That's awesome, the chaos. TM yeah, I cannot say how happy I am that chaos is in the chat right now. I did not <laughs> know that was going to happen. Uh, it's very important for me. Now, is that the third connector over here? That's very tiny. Okay. All three are on the board? Okay, let me reconnect that one then. Boop. Oh, is it this one? Yep, got it. They're all disconnected. See, and this is where your keyboard uh, uh, history serves you well. Yeah, because I, I know how to disconnect things like that. <laughs> of course, they use a different different screw size for... Yeah, you do this inside. enough, and you understand why I fix it is so grouchy about different screws and using glue and yep. all those things. Cool, so there's the keyboard one. This is the Touch ID one, this is the Lightning one. Great. Yeah, I suspect that in the end, the question is gonna be what is the optimal 3D printed enclosure? Yeah. Notorious, it's not going back together. <laughs> not happening. Oh yeah, no, it, that, that was never the plan. So is that black there just literally the board under the keys? This. I don't yeah. know what this is. It's like some kind of material. Like, huh. like it's like a plasticky material, but yeah, this is underneath here would be the 
All right. The keys. See? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just wow. some other unrecyclable material they've put in it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm turning into one of those people. It's made from dolphin skin. I think that the that there is like this is a, there's like some adhesive here. I think I want to try. And... Hmm. So I've disconnected these two. Yeah, I don't plan on using it as a keyboard again, so I'm gonna try and remove that. Because I can't get the board out, I don't think. Yeah, it's holding the board in, like, and it's covering the connector. What is it, tape? It looks like some kind of tape, you know? Yeah. I think I might need, I think Ian's right. I think I might need to cut the tape. Hang on. The eye open has cooled down a lot. <laughs> Steve says, I can't help but think if this was a different time, I could have got a call from Katie Clarkson and he's never getting a press invite. <laughs> oh man. I don't care, man. <laughs> this is more fun for me. Now, interestingly, this is also glued. Something very lightly glued, so that pops up. Yeah, we're gonna go with that first. Get you out of the way. So I'm removing the lightning port now. Jason, can you imagine if this works? How great is it gonna be if this works? I can. I do wonder now if I should have set it up as a keyboard first, you know, on the, <laughs> like, do they have a flow of just set up the button? I don't have an answer I think when you today. plug it in, it just, it, it should just identify itself as an Apple keyboard and just work. Yeah. Yes, Ian, I know you said that. I know you said it. There's the, the light import. Nice. Well, look, hey, if it doesn't work, then I'll just try reassembling it all again and see what happens, you know? And return it to Apple. <laughs> it's fine. Before you close it back up, you, you know, leave a, a taped message on the bottom of the that board that says Mike was here and then reassemble it. Now. Interesting. I'm trying to work out how to actually remove this button here, you see. Okay, it looks like some kind of plastic.
Oh, it's the switch. So I'm working on this part. This is the button. Maybe I should try and carefully remove this from, this is stuck down. So let me just try and carefully. Okay. This is all incredibly delicate. Plastic cover first. Yeah, it seems like it's like attached into something. I'm gonna try disconnecting this. I don't want to break any of these cables. Okay, well that's all out. It's <laughs> yeah. a good sound. Oh. <laughs> oh, now, do I need the power button? Well, it's come out, so. Everyone say hi to the power button. Here's the power button. Oh yeah, power switch. You don't need it, Chaos says. There's a bunch of screws on the Touch ID button itself. As long as you don't need to turn it off, huh? Well, when it's plugged in, it's all that matters. Oh yeah, I guess the the but the, the that only is a thing if you're using Bluetooth, right? Maybe. I mean, I think if you if it's plugged in and you turn the power button off, it doesn't work period even if it's plugged in okay ah the button coming out the other side that's unexpected yeah you've got to extract the touch id button now yeah i'm trying it's just it isn't going how i expected it would so I'm gonna keep these screws because I think I might need these again. Carefully detach the flex cable, and then you should be able to pull it out. Yeah. And more. This this part is really heavily glued down. Lay the eye opener on it for a minute. Uh. No. I think you're gonna. I'll be worried to put it on the. Can you imagine getting this far and then snapping one of the ribbon cables? I can. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's, it's moving. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, God. 
god. Nearly there, nearly there. Okay. So now gently thread that through. I have all the pieces. <gasps> now, for safety's sake, I think I'm going to put this back on. This little back plate. I think. No, it doesn't go back on. Expected. That doesn't seem to work. So now, I guess I have to just reassemble it all. Uh, which I don't remember the order of things. So, like, what is this? <laughs> I don't remember what this is attached to. <laughs> Why the live the live viewers are here? Is that just is that the power switch? Uh, yes. So I guess I don't need it. No, probably. I think that may have been attached. Oh yeah, that was attached to this cable here. Right. Which I guess ran down to the board. I think I've done it. I think this is it. Now, here's a question. If you connect one of these things to a computer, can you de-pair it and connect it to a different one? I think so. Because yeah. I want to do it with my MacBook because it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, you might have to de-pair it to wipe the Touch ID, I think someone was saying, and then you just pair it in somewhere else. Mm. Okay. I got my laptop. Let me just make sure I've got nothing incriminating on the laptop. What happens with a laptop with Touch ID when you add another Touch ID to... Uh, it will work. I think I tried one on a laptop once. Because I have my laptop closed a lot, right? Right. People use it with the laptop closed, yeah. but presumably it worked. Okay. Let me try and clean up this up just a little bit so I've got some space. Getting to this point in under 90 minutes is a surprise to me. Like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not saying we're done because I don't know I wouldn't that we have are. bet the ratio of peeling off the bottom to the rest of it. I know. That's massive, massive difference, right? Like, once I actually got in there, I was off with the, I was off to the races. But I guess that's because this is funny. Like, I know I needed help, right? Like, and guidance, which is amazing, and I'm very happy to have had it. But, like, the, the way to, like, unclip the cables is just a thing I know how to do. Like, those types of cables, like, I didn't actually need help with that. I just needed to know which ones I was disconnecting. Right. So, look how many screws. <laughs> so many screws. So okay, this glue. thing is just warm now, at most. So, I can go up there. Put 
all the way. Where does it go? In here. Okay. Lots of bits. You've got the cable it came with. Kind of nervous. Yeah. I'm very nervous. I'm gonna pause the music. Just amp up the drama. All right, <laughs> cable's connected. So you can kind of see this, yeah. <gasps> New keyboard detected. <laughs> it's worked! Now, how, how do I set it up though? Uh, Fingerprint. Oh, uh. No, no Mike's password. You can't. Okay, that's not working. Is it because it's looking for this one? Disconnect, disconnect and reconnect. reconnect. Okay. I'm going to disconnect it from here because it's easier. Oh, I think I messed up by... That's funny, it knows it's connected. It says keyboard battery level 0%. Max Voltar, thank you for the five gifted subs. No, it, I, it is connected, it knows it's connected. I just need to, hmm. Let me think. Uh, okay, hold on. Oops. Oh. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Just see that swipe. I think it's time to honk. No, you see? When it touched that, it knew that that's what it... Hmm. I don't think it's gonna work because I've not registered this as a fingerprint. Or would it? I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe maybe that is all it needs. No. Could be... You could unplug it and check that the cable to the touch ID is connected properly. Yeah, that might be the issue, right? Because it may be detecting that the board is there, but not detecting the touch ID. And the other thing you could try to make sure that it's detected is press the button, right? Which fires off the you know, power. The button doesn't have press. a pressing action anymore. Oh, you lost that. Yeah. Because that's part of the keyboard and not part of the touch ID. Yeah. 
Reseat the ribbon cable? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, is that just because it's seeing the board doesn't mean it's seeing the sense. I'm pretty sure I have it oriented the right way. I think it's the only way it can go is just like that. Yeah. I heard a click. Feels like it's solid. Uh, hmm. I'm just reading the chat now. Let me just try and connect it to my studio display and see what happens, right? Okay, now my watch unlocked it. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, you see now it's not even. Yeah, it says there should be there should be a step showing up asking you to press the power button to pair it thing. Yeah. Mac OS may be unhappy. I mean, you might want to try to restart it. I think I I didn't like when it popped up. I kind of pressed something and then immediately clicked away, and like because I got too excited. I feel like it, if it was working, it would be working on this part where it's trying to register the key press. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like to, to set it up. So now we're just going to do the old restart, right? That's a good idea. Thank you to everybody for the troubleshooting. I feel pretty confident. So okay. is it letting you, oh, well, it's, it's a laptop. When, it let, when you click add fingerprint, that only actually works when there's a touch ID sensor detected. Yeah, but it's detecting the one on the laptop. Yeah. If this doesn't work here, I will just run over to the iMac real quick, which is behind me, and see if that does anything, too. I'm pretty confident that everything is intact here and set up correctly. Yeah, this may be. If a finger that was enrolled on a built-in Mac Touch ID sensor is presented on a Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, the Secure Enclave successfully processes the match. So you don't need to retrain a, fig a no. finger on the other key on the other sensor. That's wild. Yeah. Emma, it's not knowledge base art. Is there a thing with the power switch? People are asking now, but I guess no. I mean, it's on because it sees it. Yeah, it did see it, didn't it? Let me just get this ready again. Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to try that again. Plug in. Plug in. Nothing happened that time. Yeah, does it show up as paired uh, in keyboard? Still says keyboard uh, battery level 0%, which makes me think that it is seeing it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So can you lock your computer and then use the finger you'd normally use on a laptop? No, that's not working. Okay. So then it's not seeing. Bluetooth settings, delete this keyboard. Should be yeah. dry. Magic keyboard connected charging. Just delete that. Oops. Interestingly, no, <laughs> I cannot remove it. It doesn't give me the option to remove it. It's still plugged in. So if I remove it and then uh, magic keyboard now remove it. So that's gone now. <clears throat> and I try again, plug it in. Mm -hmm. Your keyboard is wirelessly connected to this Mac. You can unlock this Mac with touch ID. So it says it here, right? Now what do I do? I click it, click the notification. Sure, see what happens. Okay, just open, and now go to the Touch ID screen. Add fingerprint. No. It's not working. It's not seeing it. No. Hmm. Is it attached? I mean, that's that's what I keep coming back to. Is is the the ribbon cable attached? Is it attached to the right part of the of the motherboard? I feel pretty confident that it is. So, it goes on here, and. It looks attached. Am I, is there anything that I'm missing, maybe? Like, does it need the little back plate that goes on it? Like this little thing? I might just put that on for fun anyway. <clears throat> Some speculation that well in theory it doesn't need the rest of the keyboard because chaos would right. have got it working exactly i'm sorry thanks siri in theory siri siri is sorry about this happening i love all of the ideas you know, suggestions are good. We are in the uh, like, we're in the rubber chicken waving section. Yeah. Waving a rubber chicken, does nobody know that? It's like the idea of when you're like just trying anything and hoping that it will work. That maybe if you just do one thing, you'll eventually get there. <sighs> These screws are really tricky to get in. It is a thing. If it's not a thing, I've just made it a thing. Now you've all heard it. Man, these screws are a real pain. They're so tiny.
It's almost as if humans shouldn't be trying to touch them. Interesting. Jason, are you going to see Doctor Strange? I haven't even seen everything everywhere all at once. I haven't seen that either. I don't know. Sorry, yesterday, Doctor Strange. Possible. It's possible on Sunday. But recommend. We'll I recommend. I loved it. <clears throat> I'm going to be fighting with these screws for the next 20 minutes. Well, we all think about what we've done here today. We know the computer senses the motherboard because it recognizes yep. that a keyboard's attached. That part, we've got that far. The issue is that it's not then detecting the... It is possible that I damaged it somehow, which would be a real friggin' shame. But it was always a risk. Ah. I don't think this is going to help at all. No, neither do I. But I've started now, so I must finish it. I've got three of them in. This is the fourth one now. You know, I, I, yeah, it's not going to do anything. All it does is provide the clicking to the rest of the keyboard. But. Now it's stuck to me. Oh, God damn it. Yes. Did it. Yeah, I had to remove this back plate to get it out because this is what held it onto the to the board. So now let's just see if that provided any luck. That's interesting. The text changed on this dialog box when I plugged this in. It didn't because it work. knows that there's another touch ID device available. Yeah. You want to try it on the iMac? Yeah. Uh, I wonder.
wonder if it was like the damage came from this part where I had to like pry it off the board. Yeah, it's possible that ribbon cable got. Yeah. All right, give me one second. You want? I want. Well, I want to hear you or anything now. Okay. He can uh, theoretically he can narrate for us. Juiciest mic gossip. I can't share the juiciest gossip. My juiciest dr my gossip is that I think he still hasn't learned to drive. He needs to learn. He can't have his wife drive him. Um, my upgrade draft champion pendant is over by the door. So it's over on the wall over there because it used to be here and now there's a bunch of stuff here. So it's it's over there, probably. Let's just move the... We'll just pan the studio display over. There it is. It's over there with the other the other pendants. They do need to drive. They live in the burbs and want no to move joy. further out in the burbs if you've listened to uh, Cortex. No, this didn't, that didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. So no. it's looks to me like there's a connection problem between yep. the sensor and the board. Yep. Um, there are no records in, the, in here, Justin. I don't know what you saw, but it wasn't records. Magazines. There's a book full of all the magazines I worked on. About it. I don't know. Can you buy like replacement <laughs> ribbon cables? Probably not. This ribbon cable detects straight to the sensor. Hmm. How upsetting. We got so far, you know. Yeah. I bet you if you attach okay. the keyboard ribbon cable, it would let you type on the keyboard. But Maybe it, try to disconnect the, the cable between the touch ID and the middle square block. Uh, this one. Oh, I didn't even know there was a cable there. I don't even know how to do that. I guess I gotta. There's a lot going on here. Like it's all taped down and stuff. I don't even know how where the disconnection would be. Oh. Is it just an extension? Can it you then is. plug it directly in? My my goal, Clavier, is to try and put this in something, yeah. But at the moment, nothing's working. Oh, I actually think it's detached. Oh, unplug it first. I think that the Touch ID sensor is detached from the connector in the middle. I don't know if I just ah. did that or if it was doing it anyway. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going back in. This is going to be... I mean, I say it's going to be treacherous, this thing, but... 
It's not working anyway, so it can't get worse, can it? All right, I'll be right back. All right. All right. What I need to do is try and remove this plastic covering here without destroying Like a little sticker. Hmm. Is it going to come up? Just gently coaxing this. You see? It wasn't attached, I don't think. Mm. Or maybe I had just done that, we'll find out. My Roomba got stranded. I had to rescue it. As one does. They're higher maintenance than you'd think. They are. Okay. All the time I thought I was cleaning out the rollers of my Roomba, and it turned out that there was a secret compartment on one of the sides that you have to pop off to clean out yeah. that I had never cleaned out. And I didn't know it until it so filled with hair that it popped off. <sighs> but you know what? My family notices when the Roomba doesn't run. So it is making. Now. It looked like that there was a slight bend in this cable, mm -hmm. this little ribbon cable here. Um, I don't know at what point that may have happened, but now I'm just trying to... Well, I'm trying sure, to just... um, we don't have any stairs in our house, okay, so it's perfect for that. Unlocked um, here. My Roomba, Ryan, is a, uh, it's named Super Roomba. Oh. Ah! Ah! Now I'm assuming the contacts go down. Okay. I've locked it in place. And we will now it's not an extension as such, like it doesn't have right. this connector on it. It is an extension, but it's not like just the same thing that they extended further. Okay. Here we go. Ugh, gonna try again. Failure is part of live streaming. Okay, that did not unlock the computer. <laughs> it's not plugged in. It is plugged. Oh, that will do it. That would be why. Well, maybe it wouldn't do it, but it's not going to help. Definitely part of it. <laughs> okay, that didn't do it either. Still need to go to touch ID settings, says chaos. Yeah, I'm there. It's still not. Still not letting you add it as a fingerprint? Nope. <gasps> Touch ID enrollment was interrupted.
cancel in out of the process. Oh, I think I might have done it upside down. We're going to try again. It's hard because the it's getting my fingers. I admit, again. this whole stream makes me want to do this. It really does. Oh really? Well, it's so if 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 you can get it to work, the idea of having just a little three D printed, you know, little box yeah. would be so great. Oh. <gasps> it did it. It's doing it. Look. You see it? Yeah. Yes, we did it! It's the most exciting Touch ID pairing ever. Oh, oh my god, the chat just went insane. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, boy! <laughs> yes! So now, if we lock the Mac, Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Victory! That is some troubleshooting. Thank you for all the subs. <laughs> Chaos out there. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Thank you so, so much. People want me to make honking sounds, Jason. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Victory hunk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hunk ID. Yes. Now I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> but I've done it. Yeah, well, so, right? The question now is, do you think you could fit it in somewhere? Or do you want it as a little standalone thing? I know I could... F I, I want to do something with it. And... The key is whether I want to try and have a case made. Because, like, I have some keyboards where you can have cases made for them. Like, it's actually pretty normal to have, like, a 3D printed case made or something. Uh, and it could do that. And then, yeah, I know, like, there's... So, Tim so could help me. Me and Tim could work on this. This would be really intriguing. I need to think about that. But for now, this glorious little set of nonsense is working hmm. and that's all it takes man this is so good i am so happy we made this work this is so fragile now i'm terrified of it <laughs> i'm really just scared to move it now Good. Oh my god. This is fantastic. We made it work. See, true troubleshooting, you know? My assumption of what happened, Jason, is that yeah. when I was trying to remove this section here from here, it was like pretty heavily glued down there. And I reckon that in removing it, I actually dislodged the cable from its connector. Yeah. That's what happened. And Chaos pointed out that that connector existed, which you didn't no, necessarily. No, I didn't even know that that was a connector.
but it wasn't one that I checked. But I think that I dislodged it because when I was uh, a typing test. <laughs> Man, this is great. Look at this thing now. Oh, God. Oh, God, this piece is falling off of it. Oh, no. <laughs> this is now stuck to the keys. <laughs> That's the battery. What I don't know what to do with the battery. I'm terrified of it. So this is what's left. Oh, it's a UK keyboard. Yeah. Only the best. Look at that stupid little key that they put here. The Apple does such oh. a bad job with the with the return key. It's so small. It's because they don't design their keyboard hardware for no. any layouts with the US, and then they just have to fit it in. Yeah, I couldn't have done this without the help of the chat, So and, and Jason's moral support, of course. Everybody except the guy who said there's too much backseat in the funny. chat. So that I'm was leaving. funny. Just not that guy. Mm. Sorry. I could, okay. Here's the thing. Maybe they didn't know that people were trying to help. Like, I can understand sure. that, you know? Yeah, the real question is what now? I, I look, because I've got that, you know, the Q1. It's got the, um, it's got my little logo mm -hmm. in the corner. And I keep thinking, what? That was you could fit it in there for sure. Like, it would go in there, like, easy. You could you could just slide it in. But the issue is, this is the problem that I hadn't considered when I was thinking of this initially, is there's no logical place to get the, the lightning cable through. Right. True. I mean, and you wouldn't need, you wouldn't need to make a connector the size of this. You'd only need to make something as, as large as the cable. You just have to make a little hole. Like if you were to say, like for example, you take this keyboard here, right? You wouldn't have to put a hole through here. You could just put it between the top and bottom piece. I am intrigued by the idea of a, especially if we start a little movement here, of a, uh, a little three D printed, yeah, Touch ID button enclosure. So like I have something like this, right? Like a macro pad, right? And right. I could easily take this out and put it in here, but then sure. I've got this whole thing. I could actually do that. I think I could just do this right now. I could put it in here. Do I have a smaller macro pad than this? Like, I th feel like this would fit pretty nicely with the right level of coaxing. I actually think that would work. Could you move the weird rectangle with a rounded corner? The plastic part? No, this is all one piece. Because the 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 metal ring here is what actually senses the fingerprint, and it's attached mm. to the plastic. So, like, there's no way to remove this. It has to be just like this. Right, so if you're designing a uh, an enclosure for that, you're going to need the place for the lightning port and you're going to need a place for that so it, and it's going to be the the you know not much ideally di more than the dimensions of the board yeah yes clavier if, if you were willing to help me we could work on that so clavier there's a bunch of people the, who are like chat, 3d it? printing enthusiasts who are like oh we could do it yeah um and this could be i could see this being a thing that eventually you know there are Hundreds of these out there, at least, right? Definitely, if people are cool like us. Mm. I was thinking you could also make it, maybe make it sized to be like, uh, you know, sit it above the trackpad or something like that. Yeah. It doesn't have to be super tiny. It just needs to be. You know, smallish. Oh, this is sorted in. So I can't remove this as easy as I would want to. Because I want the plate. Uh, 
never mind. This isn't going to work the way I wanted. Right, somebody points out that if, if depending on what you wanted to do, the battery, what's the size of that battery? Because you could include the battery in it too. And battery, then you, battery's pretty big. But it, but the battery's really long. Yeah, battery's pretty big. Yeah, you. It's bigger you than the circuit that. board. That's the problem. The battery is, is quite large. Right, like, oh, just for comparison's sake, like, the entire circuit board is smaller than the battery significantly. Yeah. It doesn't need the battery or the power switch. Um, it just needs to be connected. Right. Yeah, I could see somebody saying, well, what if I took the battery and then connected it and then put it all together in a, in a thing? And you would get something that was a battery-powered Bluetooth Touch ID button. You would mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to go that route. I'm not sure it's necessary. I just wish I had something I could, like, house it in now for the time Justin being. says, why not cut the battery down to fit? Yes, batteries are Good like point. cake. Again, Good point. you just slice it where you want. Nice little slice and you get what you need. I'm going to work out how to safely dispose of this. Nonsense. What I've got going on here. I think the battery was unharmed. Yeah. Ish. No thermal event. Yes, yeah, some people are pointing out uh, like you could. If you were trying to integrate it into a keyboard, you might be able to find a way to get power out of yes. the inside of the keyboard. That's true. I actually reckon I could find some way to replace. But keep in mind, it's not just power that you need. You need lightning because you need the data connection to do. Yeah, the power the... actually isn't the important part. You have to... <sighs> You would need when it's to at plugged least... in, it's, it's using USB. It's not using... Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Hmm. Although if you fed it power, it might use Bluetooth because it wouldn't get the data connection. So it would say, oh, I'm on Bluetooth. Yeah, it's like possible. now I've paired it. In theory, I could power it some other way. Right, you could plug it into just a power outlet. Yeah, but like, it oh. needs Bluetooth. I imagine the, the the circuit board has the Bluetooth on it. I'm assuming. Not that I can tell from looking at it. I think the way you would tell is if you plugged it in the lightning the lightning USB cable, you plug that into like a power adapter instead of directly into the computer, would it show up? Well. Right, because it would be powered, but it wouldn't have a data connection directly over the wire. Yeah. I don't know if the Bluetooth, if there's like a Bluetooth antenna in it or something. Yeah. I don't know. Once you plugged it into the computer, the Bluetooth is paired. That's yep. how you do pairing. Yep. So... I think it would work, but I don't know. Yep. I'm not an expert in dismembered peripherals. And I'm, I'm not keen on reconnecting the battery now. Yeah, no. Like I, I said, if you wanted that. to test it, just use a, an AC, AC to USB adapter, right? Just give it to give it power, but not data, and then you would see whether it connects. Oh, right. So if I just plugged it into something now that's not the... Yeah, just a USB power adapter. Yeah. Give it power, but not data. Yeah. Interesting. What do I... What can I plug it into? Hold on. The Bluetooth antenna is missing. Oh, yeah. See, the, that's the problem. Where is the Bluetooth antenna, then? Is it in the board? Right, because you disconnected it, and it's in the keyboard. Okay, well, there you go. That's enough for me to know. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's in the, in, in the keyboard. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Fine. 
Well, I think we've gotten as far as we can today. I think so. I think the next question is sort of like, what do you do with what it? What do now, I do right? with it? Yeah, and so I think about that and maybe can talk to some people and we can try and work something out. But this is, I mean, I can't believe we did this. This is so awesome. I'm so happy with this little mess I've got here on the desk. Yeah, that's it. As Gordon and I says, we just need love from to make a little uh -huh. case to put it in. There's a big it's thing, the by the way, it might be interesting. Uh, there's this big profile thing, that, like a magazine thing he's writing over the weekend. It's the Financial Times' supplement. It's all about Johnny Ive and Love From. Oh, interesting. It, I think, includes an interview and also a segment he has written explaining Love From. Hmm. Feels very well-timed, doesn't it? Considering it does. that book. Interesting. Why this it? weekend of all weekends? Well, it's the rehab of Johnny Ives' image yep. now. I want to read that book, you know. It sounds like it's well reported. All the reviews that I've read say that it's well reported. It's just that he's got a flawed premise, which is that it's like Tim Cook versus Johnny Ive, yep. and that's not really what it is. Stephen Levy did a piece for. Um, his wired newsletter where he talked about it. And that's basically what he said is, right. You know, this is not, it, it wants it to be the story of these two men who are diametrically opposed and going in opposite directions. And he actually talked to trip Mickle and Stephen Levy did. And trip Mickle even admitted, you know, Apple was going to lose its soul in terms of becoming a giant company, regardless of what happened.